Okay. Um, I wrote a lot about this in the instruction, in the details, but um, this is to try to get rid of this darkness right here from um, too much sun and it's not showing up on camera so um, okay so this has it says um, apply a small amount as thin layer on the affected area once or twice daily or use it by as directed by a doctor, do not use on or around the eye area. Um, so three months treatment. Uh, and it has propylene glycol, alcohol, denatured alcohol, azeic acid, water, hamamelis for geniania, which hazel, Lactic acid, kojic acid, salicylic acid, alcohol, ascorbic acid, hydroxypropyl, propyl, methicillulose, sodium hydroxide. And um, it has 2% of hydroquinone. So there's that one. And it says to apply a small layer once or twice daily and to um, not put on anything that has um, benzoyl peroxide, resol or cinol or other lightning brightening products while using this. So no, um, acne medication I don't I don't think you can have that and high quality moisturizer I'm not sure I have that um, but it says they might appear darker first and peel off it is normal and please be patient to achieve optimal results and so yeah read all the in ingredients I read it if you do this, you make sure you read all the ingredients. Um, this is the moisturizer I will use. It's Neutrogena Sensitive Skin. That's the one I've been using. Um, okay, so I'm just going to apply this with a cotton ball. Um, okay, it's like a gel, kind of. not really focusing um all right so right near the eye <laughs> is where I wanted to focus this and like right where I have like some freckles Oh, I wish I had a better camera. Okay, I know I got there pretty good. Um, so, I'll just, it smells like acetone. Um, it's not pleasant. Uh, okay, and then let that dry, and I am going to put this on as well, and this is Skin and Lab Dr. Color Effect Red Serum with um, Revitalized Skin with Pomegranate High Concentrate 
and I am not going to read all the ingredients, but this is a revitalizing serum, and this smells really nice, and um, it smells like rose, which makes sense because there is rose rose in it um, but you can put this all over your face so I'm going to just put it I'm not really good at this put this on the fingertips like that and get that on there and just put it um, where I want it, I guess. Um, I should probably avoid the areas where I put the other stuff, but here I go. So just put that on, see if it'll help with those wrinkles. Okay, then let that dry, but that smells really good. Um, while it's drying, it's kind of feels like oil. Maybe I will read the ingredients for record. <sighs> while it's drying anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, So it says if, that, if you have symptoms um, like a red spot, swelling, itching, irritation, um, and do not expose to sunlight, and do not put on a scar, eczema, or dermatitis, um, I think I'm okay for the most part. Okay, uh, it has water, um, there's a lot of words I can't pronounce, butylene glycol, glycerin, butane, hamamelius, the witch hazel again, uh, punica gratininum fruit extract, ni niacinamide, mide. Um, PEG 60 hydronated castor oil. Uh, that is diosol. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one at all. Wild yam root extract. Then blueberry fruit. Um, lycium Chinese fruit extract, rubius, raspberry fruit extract. Um, you terpe. Oligarphara <laughs> fruit extract, um, hexanidol alcohol, alatoin, carbomer, arginine, dipotassium glycerazate, boswalla resin extract, sweet almond seed extract. Yeah, jasmine oil. Um, lip. There's a, there's some more stuff, but I can't I can't pronounce it, and I can't read the Korean or the. Yeah, I think it's Korean. It focus. I don't know. There's the English. All of it. It feels really nice. It smells nice. So I like this one. Um, and then this one is the cream. The, um, the cream that you put on. And it says... 
to also don't put on a scar, eczema, derm dermatitis, don't expose to sunlight, and apply to the entire face and neck after wash and toner. Follow with a moisturizer. Um, okay, so I did the face wash toner and then this, this, and then this serum. So I'm going to do the, this cream next. And there's a lid. And um, another Q-tip. Not the one that smells like fingernail polish. Another cotton ball. And this is just white cream. It smells like roses. It smells really, really good. Oh, that's really thick. <laughs> and uh, so apply a layer. I'm going to do on the areas where I didn't do the other stuff, mostly, to begin with. And then I will add it in. Not add it in. I will apply it last. Oh, that's not last. I guess my forehead is last. <laughs> Okay. And then let this dry. No check it. Oh. But I did. <laughs> Don't push hard when you put the thing back on the top. Oh my gosh. That is gross. I mean, at least it smells good. But that. Uh, so messy. So, um. I guess I'm going to apply this to my hands too. And just make sure it's all applied on there. Maybe my ears. I have some psoriasis on my ears, like back here. So I might get a rash or more of a rash, but So, um, while that's drying, I want to see if I can get it better close. You see the spots? Yeah. So this is how it looks right now. Mainly, um, right under my eyes and mainly on this right side. It's really blotchy. And it's just, it would be interesting to see how it works. I got stuff on my keyboard. Okay. So, it's kind of tacky. And, uh, let it dry for a second and try to put this lid on without making more of a mess. Oh no. <sighs> what? Just throw the lid away. 
don't need that. We have this one, which has, which has a, it's fine. All right. So for, this is a very boring video, but it's just an experiment. Okay, so it's mostly dry, um, other than being tacky. I have a gummy face. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this Neutrogena oil-free, sensitive skin Neutrogena. I've been using this for a while and I, I like it. It doesn't really smell like anything. Not really. I mean, it has a set of, not a set of, set of fill. I guess set of fill, kind of like that uh, lotion smell. Lotion smell. <laughs> anyway, um, just put that on. I don't know if that's a really good nourishing. Um, moisturizer but it worked. It's been working very well. And um, I guess I will say more later and find out how it feels. And but yeah, so day one, no change. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And um, um that's all. <laughs>